from the Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give, thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go, your faith has saved you. Questo racconto per così dire divide il mondo in due. Chi non ringrazia e chi ringrazia. This narrative, so to speak, divides the world in two. Those who do not give thanks and those who do. Those who take everything as if it is owed them, and those who welcome everything as a gift, as grace. The Catechism says, Every event and need can become an offering of thanksgiving. The prayer of thanksgiving always begins from here, from the recognition that grace precedes us. We were thought of before we learned how to think. We were loved before we learned how to love. We were desired before our hearts conceived a desire. If we view life like this, then thank you becomes the driving force of our day. And how often we even forget to say thank you.